It is another beautiful, sunny Sunday afternoon. And uh, heading to Kaka'ako Zone to Earl Sandwiches. After that, we're gonna be doing a road trip on the scooters, taking it into the valley jungles today, you guys. So we're gonna keep it cool, keep it green, keep it jungly for you. So thanks for tuning in, thanks for dialing in. We appreciate love your support each and every time. If you like what you're seeing in our videos and you like the action, please give us a like. And if you guys are not subscribed to the Aroma Surf Ohana yet, please do. Love to have the Ohana members all in the mix with us. And hope you're having a beautiful day, evening, morning, wherever you are right now. Hey, right on you guys. Come closer. Aroma Surf Road Trip. This one we're gonna call Jungle Valley. Thanks for dialing in, thanks for tuning in. Watch the ride, guys. Aloha. Here we go. Oh, already cooling off. Feels great. Pretty hot day today. Uh, like the 22nd of May. And uh, it's a Sunday. Coming into some nice little cool off jungle action right here. Take a look. Ah, uh, oxygenation. Ox wait, oxygenation, I guess we would call it. The action of oxygenizing. Oxygenizing, oxygenation, yes. Feeling good guys, really cool because this street is not a busy street, so we're not gonna have to worry about a lot of traffic. And we are surrounded by crazy nature. Just take a look at this place, man. Lots and lots of hundred year old trees in this zone for sure. Oh man, this is just what e-scooter heaven is all about. Micromobility at its best today, guys, yes. So all of these little bridges that we're kind of crossing and bending around, It's just a really beautiful jungle valley stream. Now today we're hoping guys that we're going to uh, make it all the way around this loop. So far it has been uphill. Last time if you remember on the last road trip when we were up in the jungle hilltops, we ran a little shy on battery power. Um, we weren't able to upgrade the batteries or add more batteries, but you know what we did do, guys? I brought a little uh, MacGyver with me. Old surf school knowledge. Basically, if the wifey's boost doesn't quite make the run, I'm gonna tow her the rest of the way. So no worries, guys. This loop is going to be completed today. And the weather couldn't be more perfect. Again, we're in heavy rainforest zone right now. We scored a sunny moment, that's all I can say. The weather could change here dramatically at any moment of any day of any time. So blessed with a beautiful sunny day in the valley. Come on. 
Come on up and pass me. Cool. Well, I just got passed by a cute scooter girl on the road. Even in this neck of the woods, we've got the cute scooter girls rolling around. I love it. Oh, this is just awesome, man. Gosh, look at those hills. Green hills and green valleys. Oh, just getting such an amazing dose of fragrances of just nature right now. Got the haliconias, we've got all the jungle bush, some bamboo. Man. Yeah, you guys. What's nice about this grade, it's not as intense as the hilltop ride, for sure. We're not really going up a steep, windy hilltop. We're going up kind of a slower graded hilltop. Basically, we're kind of going up through the top of the valley right now. And uh, once we get up through the top, There'll be a lot more things to see and talk about for sure. Very cool. Okay, so we've reached a certain marking place here. This is So, we want to go to the Poly Lookout and then we're going to go all the way around. We're going to be in the bike lane. Okay? And if it seems too crazy, we can always turn around, okay? Lots of traffic here. It's a major highway. We're going to be in the you know, in the lane. Now I can see the edge of the poly straight ahead and I can see the dugouts which are historical uh, crazy battle of the poly that took place here man, it was insane. If you ever want to see some amazing paintings, Herb Kane, the most awesome Hawaiian artist, gets a pretty good uh, image of all of the ancient Hawaiian cultural activities and uh, he does it so well this is crazy we've just got this amazing colors in front of us this is super cool brand new territory brand new territory is always exciting sorry about the wind guys it's pretty strong winds up here And what we're going to be doing is going up to the lookout and then we're going to basically be uh, going around the loop and just coming downhill for another really beautiful zone. Now the speed limit says 45, of course we're in the uh, shoulder we're not going to be going 45 and we're definitely not going to be staying really on this trafficy road much longer. There's just a little section that we had to take to get here. Just be careful. Just real careful. Taking it easy guys. A little bit further up this grade and it's going to level out. 
And at the same time, we're going to have a chance to get off the main, so that's good. Well, I'm thankful that it is sunny right now, because it sure makes this a lot easier for us. Especially on the e-scoots. Okay, not much further. I can see the turn-off sign coming up, which is really cool. Last little section here. Almost there, guys. Hang in there, wifey, on the boost. I know she's kind of probably fretting a little bit. This is a little bit gnarly for us, but uh, again, only this section. In a second, we're going to be off, and uh, we're at the top. So. Just starting to reach the summit as we speak, other than a small summit to go into the parking lot. Beautiful, here we are. We made it. This is cool. Good job, babe. Come on up, pass me. That was it. But yeah, but don't worry, we don't have to go on a skinny section like that anymore. We made it. This is just cool, man. New frontiers. We got the Ghost and the Revy in full effect. Historical land. Of course, everywhere is historical land in the Inas for the Hawaiian culture and unfortunately sometimes for the down pressers that we don't love. Awesome. Heavy, uh, nice redwood, kind of eucalyptus smells going on. This is really cool. Breaking some new ground, guys. New ground right up here. We made it to the top. This is super cool. Might have to go ahead and do a little bit of a touristy thing just so you guys can kind of see the view that's up here. You can see Turtle Rock. <laughs> Looking in over Kailua side as well, a little Lani Kai action. So, right below us is a tunnel that cuts through this mountain. We're above the tunnel. We're on the top. How's it, you guys? Getting some fresh air on the summit. <laughs> there we go. A little more freed up now. Beautiful windward day. A little cloudy as you can see. I love how the clouds just like the blanket on top of the coal house. Isn't that gorgeous? These are such special mountains. You know, there's only a few of these type of mountains in the world. And Hawaii happens to be one of the places that has these beautiful, beautiful natural creation. Cool. Well, thanks for taking a little peek with us, guys. We're gonna go ahead and uh, let some other folks check it in and continue on our little run. Yeah.
All right, you guys, well, here we go. Little pit stop at the summit. And uh, continuing forward on the loop. What's nice is this whole way down is going to be really light, no traffic, and uh, very lush and green. You can pass me, babe. Hello. <laughs> nice, isn't it? Right? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what the wifey was uh, mentioning is that the roads um, on the Jungle Valley road trip, today's road trip, are a little more well paved than uh, last week's in the hills version. Now the foliage in both regions is quite similar because if you remember in the last one we were touching some rainforest, this one's just smack dab pure rainforest. So uh, like I said, this zone is wet more than it's dry daily. Well, we scored. I can smell the eucalyptus, the eucalypti and I in the air again. Haven't seen any chickens on the road today though. <laughs> of course, if we see any guys, we already know what to do. Ringing that bell. This is just so chill. So I'm rolling on the ghost right now at only at about 15 miles an hour, okay? Because, I mean, I don't want to go fast because I don't want to miss any of this beauty. So nice. This is awesome. Finally, I see our first car coming around the bend, so we're gonna pull over here and let them pass. Pop into the shade real quick. <sighs> yeah, you guys. So, I wish you guys could kind of smell that I'm smelling right now. It's just this kind of moist, semi-humid, vapors off the green bush smell, uh, which is that jungle smell, depending on whatever jungle that you might have been in, you live in now, or you go to. It's that same classic, beautiful green of nature smell. It's just so invigorating and just really brings the structure in the mind back to nature. You know, we're, we're on a concrete road, but other than that, we're surrounded by a lot of nature and it just feels great to be in more nature than concrete, for sure. We need the concrete for the scoots, but other than that, we want the nature. Right on. Love to see the sun as it beams through the trees. So the road that we're on is actually the original highway uh, for this place. Uh, after that, they created a more express type of a route 
this is the original road and uh it's way cooler <laughs> it's tight surrounded again and uh just low-key and laid back Wow, that was cool. So it looks like we've got another little section of shoulder, guys. But it's all downhill, so we're just going to be careful. Stay on the shoulder. What's really cool, we're, we're going downhill and I, can, I can't quite see the blue of the ocean, but um, I can definitely see the blue that's over the ocean because I know the ocean is that direction. <laughs> um, if you look to the left right now, you can't really see probably on the uh, camera, but we have a big massive uh, reservoir that actually is over here in the bush. Kind of a cool little zone to check in as well. And I think we're going to go ahead and slow down here. We're going to stop. Yay! Okay, we're safe, guys. And uh, on our way back. Back on the jungle path. Back to fresh. Amazing smells in the air and uh, again, light traffic. So I hope you guys kind of enjoyed that little uh, loop in the jungle valley with a view. For sure fun on the scoots. We're always in search of new travels, part of the road trip playlist. So. Thanks for dialing in always, you guys. We really appreciate love your support, and it's just nice to have you with us, enjoying the ride. Whoa, man, looks like it's the same one from last time. She got some speed on that thing. She's a little bit more uh, gutsy than I am. <laughs> Let's be careful. Let's be careful. <laughs> Always. But these are some really smooth roads which just make it so nice.
so nice <laughs> so nice well you can tell we're having a pretty rough afternoon guys after that amazing meal at Earl's don't forget to check out the uh, Earl's sandwich street food that'll be coming up this week as well we had Earl's crab cake sandwich and their jalapeno cheesy fries for our little pre-road trip meal. So the bellies are super happy and now our, all of our senses are alive. The smells, the sights, the feels. What a complete, what a completely exhilarating day of fun events in the sun, in the Inus. Wow! Jeez! Talk about the good life, you guys, man. Folks living in this neighborhood are loving life. How cool. Right? <laughs> okay, let's go up. I'm gonna follow the wifey. Follow the leader. I'm. You're the leader. I'm following you. smooth roads man thank you guys for these beautiful smooth roads thanks to the city and county of Honolulu for these beautiful smooth roads this is so sweet yeah this is what they call the good life guys doesn't get much better how's it yeah <laughs> Yeah, he said we get them. These scooters do get them. These things are definitely just riding these roads well and uh, no issues with the hills or the turns on these bad boys. My gosh. So cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Well, we'll take this one. Yeah. Both of these need some work. We'll take them. <laughs> This is beautiful. Real fun. Real fun. Wifey and I always love riding through all the fun neighborhoods because the streets are always good, as you guys can tell. And it's just cool to see, you know? I mean, it's not like, uh, you know, having money and having a nice home is not a crime. And especially in these old neighborhoods, man, people work their butts off, you know, to get here and to be in these places. Get a nice mix of uh, historical homes and kind of like definitely a mix match. Um, we've got uh, I would say everything from like the 20s through the 80s maybe as far as uh, homes being developed in this neighborhood. All right, well that was cool, man. Very very cool. Well, right on, you guys. Once again, thanks for dialing in. 
another successful, safe, and exciting road trip. We'll see you soon on the next road trip, guys. And until then, stay safe, stay blessed. Aloha.